my photographer of choice is Minor White, American subjective photographer. Some quotes of his that stood out to me are, Sometimes we work so fast that we don't really understand what's going on in front of the camera. We just kind of sense that, oh my god, it's significant, and photograph impulsively while trying to get the exposure right. Exposure occupies my mind while intuition frames the images. And vision without association. Pristine vision? These quotes show how he approached his photos. Hunter White lived from 1908 to 1976. Born in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and earned a degree in botany from the University of Minnesota in 1933. Botany is the study of plants and agriculture in that nature. While Mr. White was originally a poet, which led to his photography to be the way it is, he passed away in 1976 in Boston, Massachusetts. After receiving a degree in botany, Mono White moved to Portland, Oregon and started photography. He joined the Oregon Camera Club, in which he was hired by the Works Progress Administration, making exhibits for the Portland Art Museum and top photography. Eventually, he was drafted in 1942 for the war, working in intelligence. Upon his discharge in 1945, he moved to New York, where he attended Columbia University, studying art history and aesthetics with Meyer Shapiro, who was also an art historian. He also published books such as The New Zone System Manual, Minor White, A Living Resemblance, and Mirrors, Messages, Manifestations. One of his biggest accomplishments is being a founder of the Aperture magazine, who was also created, which was also created by Ansel Adams, Dorothy Lang, Barbara Morgan, and others. Aperture was created in 1952. In 1970, he won the Guggenheim Fellowship Award, which was which is an award for those who have demonstrated exceptional capacity for productive scholarship or exceptional creative ability in the arts. In this photo, Sun and Rock, is the one provided in our book. Our book states, quote, White's Sun and Rock reads as a carefully composed landscape of dark rock forms and luminescent, rippling water. He cropped the image closely, divorcing its elements from their unusual associations. This was in page 335. This photo, along with the next two, are from the Minor White Archive, which was from Princeton University. This photo also included a setting from the beach with another closely cropped view. And as you can see on the bottom, it shows the caption of the, the, caption of the picture, Minor White's name, and the date that it was taken. This one was also from the Minor White Archive. In this photo, San Francisco. The vantage point sticks out to me because in this photo Minor White uses everything as a subject and that there is no wasted space. Also in the vicinity of Danville, the tone in this photo to me is really what makes this photo so unique. It gives me a, it reminds me of the show when I was a kid I used to watch Courage the Cowardly Dog. In Moon and Wall Encrustation, the, the close proximity of the photo and title remind me of early life documentation many of years ago. The vantage point on this photo uh, makes it so unique as well. In Devil's Slide, it reminds me of a perfect example of Minor White's photography. It allows self-interpretation to make the photo. This photo exemplifies that last uh, sentence type made by his property as well.
In Grand Titans, the significance in this photo to me is the difference in the lower surface caused by the beams of light. The tone is what makes this photo appear like this, in my opinion, the reflection in the river below. Yeah. Lastly, Poltergeist is my favorite example of Minor White's work. In our book, it says, quote, White encouraged readers to think of photographs as independent units of meaning. I think that this quote really uh, is a good example of how I look at this picture. So in terms of his significance, his experience with poetry before starting photography is really what his photography reflects, as it is very subjective while also being considered a fine art. The quote, quote, White evolved a passionate approach to photography as a means of both self-exploration and spiritual quests, stated in the book, Photography, a Facet of Modernism shows how his photography was made with these principles in mind. Minor White spent a lot of time being an educator throughout his life, teaching photography classes at the Rochester Institute of Technology and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I'd like to end with another quote by Minor White that exemplifies his work. Quote, the, the photographer projects himself into everything he sees identifying himself with everything in order to know it and feel it better.